Cape Town is one of the great destinations of the world. Nearly 4 million people visit its shores every year. They enjoy the city, the mountain, the sea and the spirit of the local residents. But there are costs too, for the local people and the environment. To help find a balance, the city has embraced responsible tourism. It helps to create better places to live in and better places to visit. For South Africa, it started back in 1996. Our communities started sharing their own stories in their own ways. Protecting the environment they live in and benefiting from the business of tourism. And visitors have demanded more and more of these kind of responsible experiences. The very definition of responsible tourism carries our name, the Cape Town Declaration, agreed right here in 2002. It's a great honor and obligation. So we've been busy. The city helping its residents live sustainably, build responsibly, even host events responsibly. And the tourism industry is adapting its offerings. You see, responsible tourism isn't just tourism in poorer communities. It's across the entire industry, all the way to the top end. Even at the 2010 FIFA World Cup, we worked hard to make the environmental and social legacy more than just a liquor stadium, like our Green Gold 2010 program. You see it in the city centre too, history and cutting edge business. It's friendlier for pedestrians with a lower carbon footprint. Cultures share their history with visitors, the buildings and even in food. Visitors want to come here, people want to live here. It's because Cape Town's environment is unique. Its beauty and biodiversity draw millions of visitors. But millions of local people use and need the environment too. Protection, recreation, income. There has to be a balance. Clean water for communities and a protected habitat for endangered species. When we find that balance, we find people who are truly inspired to take responsibility. Visitors also come to meet people. Cape Town is famous for its township tours. You are invited to be a guest in our communities. You support local businesses, meet people, it's more meaningful. The tourism industry has standards and a code of conduct and tips for travelers. Everyone's deeply engaged, signing a charter along with local government committing to responsible tourism. The city adopted a formal policy, planning, regulations, zoning, licensing, it all must benefit responsible tourism. And now they're busy refitting buildings, hosting green meetings, traveling in responsible ways and more. We're also starting to measure and share what's happening, the good and not so good. Maybe we can help and inspire other destinations. Cape Town has covered quite a distance on our journey to becoming a more responsible destination. But we still have a lot of work to do before we are truly living by the principles of responsible tourism and helping all visitors enjoy our destination as responsible travelers. But we are well on our way. Woo!